originally it was uh, based off of uh, Jake Skeet's poetry and a lot of it was very uh, much uh, grew from and was inspired by the city that he grew up in and around which was Gallup so a lot of the images and the landscapes that got inspired by were stuff that was already written in his poetry. It felt like it was really essential uh, to, to work with a filmmaker who really knew the area and was a member of the Navajo community. That was important to Jake and it felt essential to the project. Uh, yeah, the, uh, mis the mist being and the star being are like two um, figures in uh, Navajo creation stories that kind of were the first uh, beings to emerge out of nothingness and darkness and kind of the created human beings and stars and everything that we presently know. So we shot in Gallup for about four days. Me and my cinematographer, Daniel High, did a lot of time-lapse photography there. Uh, we went there, spent four days collecting all the imagery. And then the fifth day we spent in Santa Fe at the Institute of American Indian Arts doing green screen um, photography. Basically, we just got them green screen suits and put them up against a, a wall and just shot them as a uh, how they would proceed through these different environments. I wrote music that really responded um, in a direct way to the images. I mean, Black Horse and I had talked about, for example, the opening being a very long shot of, of the sun rising and, and the mist being sort of slowly emerging out of the desert. So I had a general idea that it was gonna be kind of hypnotic and slowly unfolding music. Um, yeah, both the singers and the instrumentalists are members of uh, an ensemble that I co-founded called AMUC, American Modern Opera Company, AMOC. Um, and the singers uh, are indeed familiar to LA audiences, um, Anthony Roth Costanzo, countertenor, and Devon Tynes. But it really has been, uh, it's, it's been a joy on my end. And, and I've been amazed uh, just how quick it, it can be. You know, I'll, I'll have an idea or a suggestion and then Black Horse will send me the edited film like 10 minutes later. And I'm like, how'd you do that? Um, I thought this was complicated stuff. The, the music that you do and Jake's poetry was just like, there's so much there to really pull from and draw inspiration from. So it's just like, my brain was so alive with just different images and visualizations that I want to do. And like, there's still stuff now that we came up with that stuff that I'd shot that I still really want to revisit because there's just a, so much material there to keep on building from. And especially listening to Matt's music and finally hearing the, the final mix and everything, it's just like, it's so beautiful. It's just like, I just want to keep on collaborating, create more stuff with you. So.